Hey guys, it's Sadie and today I'm going to be doing a little breast reduction update one year post-op Um, I have a bunch of questions that you guys have asked me in the comments and on my Instagram A lot of you have DM'd me which I love answering questions about the surgery So yeah, let's get into your questions These are the most asked questions, just letting you know The first question is, is there any regrowth or has there been any regrowth for me? Personally, no, I have not grown since then which is really good The next question is how long is surgery from when I first went out and then when I woke up for me it took about three hours I think two funny stories for you when I was going out they played Christmas music um, and then when I woke up I was really angry at my oxygen mask and the clock the next question is what size did I start with versus now I started with a 32 double D and now I'm a 32 B um the next question is how old was I when I got it so I had just turned 16 next one is what is a consultation like a consultation is basically you go into your doctor's office and you go into your own little room they ask you to put on a little it's like a robe it depends on what kind of consultation you're having some of them you go and you take pictures some consultations they're just checking everything asking you what you want you're telling them and explaining to them what you want what size you want to be the one before the surgery is the one where I'm informed of what I need for surgery and how the surgery is gonna go and everything so yeah the next question is is the recovery painful it wasn't painful it just stung but not in like a way that you would think it like it stung and itched at the same time and all I had to do with the little bra that they gave me which I will show you is just go like that and it wasn't bad there was no pain I went off my pain medicine after two days and I was only taking Tylenol so it wasn't bad at all so now people were asking me how bad are my scars and what are they like now my scars are like almost completely gone it's just like a very faint white line I barely notice it a few people asked what do you expect on surgery day for me on surgery day I had my surgery in the morning and so starting at midnight the night before I had to stop eating I could still drink water in the morning I was allowed to have like a few sips of water which was really nice the night before I had to take a shower using this special soap thing that they gave me I'll show you in a second um and then that morning I went and I hung out with Jordan and then I came home I showered after after I came home because I didn't want to be dirty so I showered I got ready I skedaddled my little butt over there <laughs> we got there they took me to the room with my little bed they put an IV in me and then my surgeon came and then she drew me up I told her exactly what I wanted and she was like perfect and then the lady who helped me put my IV in and everything she walked me to the surgery room I laid down they gave me these really cool it was like leg massagers and heaters at the same time and I was like ooh fancy that is what you can expect on surgery day and then people wanted to know what things helped me recover and I have them all right here this is the soap that they had me buy it's like a body wash kind of thing I bought it at Target very easy to find so now some of the things that helped me recover that I bought I needed to stay hydrated for after surgery and so I bought this water bottle and I've been using it ever since I use it every single day I didn't realize at the time the cup says reduce on the side of it which I thought was so funny when I um, bought it and I was I didn't notice the next thing I bought oh you're gone the next thing I bought was this body pillow I bought it also at Target and it just really helped because I was on the couch a lot and in my bed I used it on the couch and in my bed so I couldn't like move around as much which was really nice and it was just it's soft and it's comfortable so that was really nice to have I bought that at Target as well and then before surgery happened I bought this after surgery bra this is not the bra that they gave me but I bought it off of Amazon and I don't know if you can see but it has like a zipper so you can just unzip it and then zip it back up it was really nice I didn't have to like raise my arms or anything so I bought this and I bought like a three pack so I recommend getting these so this is the bra that they gave me for after surgery so I left in this and I had to wear this. I think it was up until my first shower. And my first shower was a week after surgery. It's like the zipper, but it just hooks, which is fine. Um, another person asked, what kind of stitches did you have? And did you have drains? I had dissolvable stitches and I did not have drains, which thank God. If people wanted to know what the following days after surgery were like. For me, like I said before, I was on Tylenol for two days. And then after that, I, I didn't really have to take any medicine. I was very sleepy the day after. There was no pain just the stinging and the itching again very easy to deal with the following days after surgery were just really chill really nice snuggling with my dogs so that was the last question and so now I'm just gonna update you I'm not going to lie to you sometimes things 
still sting. The stinging was just like, like nerves reconnecting. I can swim now, I can horseback ride. I am now able to wear underwire bras. I'm going to show you some before and after pictures right now. So this is before, and then this is after, this is now. I'm really happy with my decision. And if you're nervous to get a breast reduction, don't worry. I was terrified, you guys. I was so scared. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any more questions, I will always do updates in the future or on my Instagram, which is at Sadie Marie A. Smith. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.